Yo, 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 what's going on out the fight world? This your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on two big dogs in this fight game. We have Frank the Ghost Mort, the undefeated top contender at the lightweight division. Then we have that killer, that gorilla from Baltimore, Javante Tank Davis, the undefeated three division world champion, arguably the hottest young fighter in the game right now, arguably the face of boxing behind Canelo Alvarez. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world, in case you've been living up on the rock, we all know Javante Tank Davis and Frank Mort. It's about to go down in June. But what we want is for the Frank Mort, or we can say Javante Tank Davis and Frank Mort sparring footage to be released. We want Frank versus Tank sparring footage to be released because we know what that's going to do. That's going to help hype the fight. You understand? Help build the fight and give us some insight on what them boys was looking like. You understand what I'm saying? We all seen what happened with the Devin and the Tank sparring session. Now, just imagine Tank and Frank get released because Floyd got the footage, right? They get released, and we can see these boys go at it, and they ain't going to do nothing but, you know, set the world on fire. Because Frank said he hurt Tank. A lot of people saying that Tank took off the gloves and wanted to bang it out. You feel me? And it's just go, you know, um put some, you know, some some validation on the situation. You feel me? So when we're looking at Frank, we're looking at Tank, we all know it's going to be a hell of a fight. We know Frank, he's up for the fight. We know he's hungry. We know he come up under that Derrick James tutelage. He over there, he's an Earl Spence fighter, so you know he ain't no chump. He ain't afraid of nothing. You understand what I'm saying? Um, an opportunity of a lifetime, and it's for sure, you know, going to put him over the hump if he's going to be victorious, or even if he keep the fight close. Like I say, it's going to do something special for Frank career because a lot of people count Frank out and a lot of people, you know, they hate him talking about he don't, you know, deserve the opportunity, right? But what do they know? How they go tell a man what he deserve when he's out there putting in the hard work, you know what I'm saying? Putting his life on the line for y'all entertainment purposes. So some of y'all need to shut the hell up and quit hating on these fighters, you know what I'm saying, when they make it to a certain position. You dig? Frank Martin is, is, is more than deserving of an opportunity versus Javante Tank Davis. Now, you know, Tank, he ready to prove a point to everybody. He's not he's not joking around. He's not bullshitting. He want to go in there. He want to knock Frank out. Period. Let's just quit bullshitting around the, the bush. Javante Tank Davis want to knock Frank Martin out, bro. That's his whole objective. That's his whole agenda to go in there and show people that, look here, you get in the ring with me, I'm not taking it easy on nobody, and I'm going to show y'all boys that I ain't to be messed with. You know what I mean? He want to show that nastiness, that, 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 that toughness, that Baltimore style to show how he came up, that pain, that hurt of losing his homeboys, of being probably only the ones that come out, his crew, to make it. You know what I mean? He's seen so much pain, so much death, so much hurt to where he want to inflict that pain on his opponents inside that square circle. And that's what he's been doing over the years, bro. He's been letting all that frustration and all that pain go inside the ring, knocking cats out. You understand what I'm saying? And he want to do the same to Frank Mort. He want to go out there, he want to make an example to show Earl Spence, you should have kept your fighter away from me. You dig, but you wanted to put him in the ring with me. But one thing about Frank, he come from that same environment as well. Frank ain't no sucker, he ain't no chump, he ain't no punk. He come from the hard streets of Detroit. We all know how gritty and grimy Detroit gets. You know what I mean? Moved up to Texas, and now he adopted the ways of, you know, being a Texan. A Texas um, boy, but at the same time, you can't take that Midwest up out of him. You can't take that Detroit up out of him. You know what I'm saying? So he want to go out there and show people that, look, I ain't one of them because he told Tank, listen, you doing all that? I ain't one of them, bro. I ain't going to be just sitting there for you to just punch on or you think you're going to just get me up out of there like I'm some type of... You know what I'm saying? Weakly, bro. You got your hands full with me. You understand? And that's what Frank want to go in there and prove. You feel me? And I think it's going to be a hell of a fight, man. I think it's going to be a hell of a fight. Like I say, Frank is more than deserving of the fight. I don't care what none of y'all say. His opponents that he's been taking on, it proves that. You feel me? And now he got to go in there and show that, look, this is me. I belong on this stage. Um, A lot of y'all try to hate on me. But Javante Tank Davis, man, like I say, the sparring session between Tank and Frank got heated. Got very heated. You know what I mean? Um, we all know how Tank is. We know Tank inside that ring, he's an animal. You dig? Like he said, inside the ring, when he's sparring, he want to hurt you. He said that's why he didn't spar Floyd Mayweather because he he know if he get hit with a shot, he know himself. He going to want to get that shot back, and he, he going to want to get it back hard. You know what I'm saying? 
So he said he didn't want to go in there and hurt Floyd because, you know, he'd rather learn from him than go in there and try to, you know what I'm saying, hurt him. But with Frank, you know, I'm quite sure he wanted to hurt Frank. I'm quite sure they was in there letting that, that, that leather fly, bro. Frank said it was good spawn. Frank said it was damn good spawn, back and forth work. You know what I'm saying? So he ain't just trying to put on and make it as if, oh, man, I went in there and I fucked Javante Tank Davis up. And you know what I'm saying? He couldn't do this. Nah, he kept a trail. But Tank, Tank got that attitude, bro. That's why he is who he is. You know what I mean? He got that attitude. And Frank, like Frank said, man, look, I got attitude as well. I'm like that too. You know what I mean? Ain't nobody just going to walk through me or ain't nobody just going to handle me like I'm some type of chump. You know what I mean? That's the reason why Earl Spence signed him. Earl Spence say he just go about his business. He don't, you know what I'm saying, do all that extra shit. He cool, calm, and collective. And, uh, you know, he get the job done. And up on Derrick James, you've been seeing him. He's been going in there. He's been getting the job done. No bull crapping. No bull crapping. Following the game plan, sometimes it starts slow. But at the end of the day, the results are to win. You feel me? The results are to win. And that's what Frank been doing. He's been winning. So he is a winner. Like I say, he got that O and he don't want to let it go. So he ain't finished just going there and lay down for nobody, bro. Like I said, he was talking about he was ducking Shakur and all that other stuff. I disagree with all that. I disagree with all that. Like I said, I think the man wanted more money and, and, and he's entitled to that. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, to, to be taking on Javante Tank Davis, it says a lot. You know? It says a lot. That just shows you that he ain't ducking nobody. Ain't got to respect that, bro. But, like I said, if they release that sporting footage of Tank versus Frank, bro, all it's going to do is hype the fight, amp it up, get him, you know what I'm saying, some more motivation to go out in the ring and, and prove why, you know, the spawn was just spawn and you can't fuck with me, right? So if Frank did go in there and do something to Tank or, or it did go like they said it went, then Tank, you know, at the press conference, he had to answer those questions. Frank could answer his questions. But then with eight ounces on, no head girl, you know, it can be a different situation, which is going to be a different situation. You know what I mean? Because now both of these boys going to be in tip-top shape. Both of these boys going to know with a game plan. Um, the punch is going to hurt even more. Now you ain't got no head girl to save you from the punch or from the tempo or the jawbone. So now you got to be more careful. The defense got to come into effect. So it's going to be a whole different ball game up under the bright lights. You feel me? Floyd said it the best. I might have an off day, you know what I mean, where somebody got off on me. You know what I mean? It happens in sparring because in sparring you just fighting. You're really not using your, your brain and, and trying to be methodical and all that. You got on big gloves. You got on head girl. You feel secure even though you still can get hurt. But you're really in there just fighting. You understand what I'm saying? But under the bright lights, he said, I never miss. You understand? Under the bright lights, I never miss. I'm a whole different animal. And that's what we're going to see from Tank and Frank. We're going to see a whole different style of fight up under the bright lights to see who is who. You know what I mean? To see who is who. So Frank said he's going to go in there and prove that he ain't there one of them. He got to step up to the plate, and he's going to have to bring something different because we know what Tank does inside that ring when the lights is on against all his opponents. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. Frank is undefeated as well. But, you know, Tank, that aura about him of knocking people out or hurting people and things like that, you know, he's the A-side. So people are looking forward to him, and, and he is the favorite. You know what I'm saying? So what Frank got to do is go in there and show people that I'm not going to just go in here and get knocked the fuck out. I'm not going to go in here and just get walked through. I'm going to show y'all boys that I can hold my own, that I, that I am for real. And y'all going to respect me after this fight, win, lose, or draw. You understand? Because it ain't that you lose, it's how you lose. Like I say, not saying he going to lose, but if he do lose, if you go in there and get Javante Tank Davis a hell of a fight, and like I said, do something different than what other fighters done, your respect still going to go through the roof and your popularity still going to rise. And nobody can stop that. You did? So this going to be one hell of a fight, man. It's going to be one hell of a fight. Like I said, it looks like it's supposed to be going down in June. We're going to see if that's transpired. But if they release that sparring footage, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it only put more hype on the fight and make people want to see it and make people press that butt to even get more money. So let's just, let's just see what Floyd and them do with the spawn session. Let's see if Tank and Frank even welcome the spawn session to be released because they say it's according to rules what happened to spawn stays in spawn, but we know that shit is out the window now. So let's see if they welcome the spawn session to be released just to get the people something until June. I think that'll be fire. Shouts out to Frank. Good luck. Shouts out to Tank. Good luck. Can't wait to see y'all boys get it on. Straight like that. And money be on to the next.